Sounds working. Camera's working. I'm working. If not a little bloated, I've just been for a big curry with the wife and I'm a little bloated. But apart from that, we're all good. I'll tell you one thing that really annoys me though is that on the iPad app, ICV are charging $3.99 a month if you want to watch ITV4 on the iPad app. What the hell is that all about? I want you to watch the Europa League games today. I'm not paying three ninety nine a month for ITV4. That is ridiculous. ITV4 is not good enough for three ninety nine a bloody month. Anyway, rant over. Welcome back. As you can see, eleven games left. We're in a precarious position, but it's very tight at the bottom. So tight, in fact, that Liverpool could still go down. Uh, Villa could still go down. You know, quite a few teams could still go down. In all fairness, Everton aren't safe, to be honest, all the way up there. So we'll have to see. But Liverpool, they sat their manager. They made a move for me. I said no. So as a panic, they employed. Davids. He is a very good manager on this. Very, very good. It's it's bizarre. Um, but yeah, he's there now. Um, let me just get these out of the way. And then we'll go through. Blanky Sop again. Wing Jun Player of the Month. Uh, yep. Just checking to see if any of our others had. We've been in a dire straits when it comes to form of late. Um, you saw us lose 4 3 to Arsenal, didn't you? Last time out. We drew 2 all with Villa in the next match. Moses and Wiley got the goals there. 3 2 win over Fulham. Um, Kerr, Mella, and Wiley. Uh, we then drew 2 2. Oh, no, sorry, I've just done that, stupid boy. We lost 2 0 to Everton. Drew one all in the cup against Derby. Uh, Napier with his first goal for the club. We lost the replay 2 1. And guess who scored the goals for them? Former midfielder Ashley Mellor and former striker John Atkin. So, fair play to them there. We then got hammered 6 0 by United. Lost 1 0 at Hull. 4 1 at Barnsley. 3 1 against Reading, it helped I told you, against Barnsley, Wiley scored, against Reading, Wiley scored, we then beat Brighton 2-1, thanks to two from Wiley, uh, we then lost 2-1 to Crystal Palace, um, a two players sent off in that game, and Redmond got us a consolation, lost 4-1 to league leaders, Tottenham, advantage of the penalty there, and last time out we nicked an 89th minute winner through Lee Wiley against West Brom. So we've got some crucial games coming up. Liverpool, shockingly, are around us, as are Stoke, West Ham and Watford. Uh, the others I'm not too sure about, but it's touch and go time now. The format, we, we are keeping possession amazingly, but we are lacking that bit of quality up the top end of the pitch. So, you know, can't be helped. This lad, I need to ask every single one of you, have you ever seen a lad with stats like this, so young in the Squirrel South in a moment. I offered those because Welling are a club I like and I wanted to help them out a bit financially so it could reach 450k eventually. Marcus Stewart, everybody. Bang. That has actually gone down a bit. That was 18 before, I'm sure it was. Um, he joined us in the summer. He's 16. I mean, he was injured for most of last season and a bit of this season. He's just not long come back from injury and he's got three and five. Uh, I've scouting him still. I've got some reports coming in. He's apparently he's just fantastic every game for them, whether he scores or not, which is awesome. History wise, had to do a bit more um, wheeling and dealing. We brought in Manfred Van Bokel on trial you saw last time he signed permanently not started brilliantly but he's starting to settle in now and uh, we brought Sasha Rodin from Dortmund on loan 20 year old German defender um, he's doing he's done well so far to be fair in a struggling defence we also brought in Harold Kniat uh, from Schalke 
he's 20, he's a midfielder. I just wanted to give us a couple of options and seriously, no English team would loan me a midfielder. I had no choice but to go abroad. Um, Tom Beaches is on, uh, we signed him from Gillingham. Um, we had a look at him, his scout reports were quite good and it says he can go on and do quite decent um, in the future. So we've loaned, he was at Gillingham before, we've loaned him out to Exeter. Um, and Jamie Mason broke our record transfer fee, £5.2 million for young Jamie Mason. He's done brilliantly since coming in. Um, he's, uh, he, he's really good at making through balls just look so simple he was he went to cardiff in the season when we've picked him up after he was released previously by man city uh, i don't think anybody else has left no just loan players have left finance wise it's gone down a bit because we spent a fair bit in the uh, transfer market again but that's that's the way things are at the moment so we've looked at the Premier League. Is there any of our players in there? I know we've not got a top goal scorer, that's for sure. Nope. No, I didn't know if any of our players might have snuck in. But uh, yeah, it is really, really crucial time for us now. We've got Chelsea at home. They're going to be smarting because we beat them at their place earlier in the season. Blanking Sock will be missing because it's his parent club. So we have to really up our game today. And... Um, Will it be? Will we be able to do it? Who knows? I've dropped a stable, but um, you know, disappointed you're not giving more youngsters the opportunity. I'm trying. I'm trying. Once we cross the youth intake day, they should be fairly decent now, because of our facilities have got much better. Um, so hopefully, they'll kick on. If an issue's in there, I'm going to put Mason. In for you, Road New Bold, Days in Goal, Bench looks fine. Um, uh, do we? Let's put Martin on the bench for. But, so hopefully, we can. I, I, I'd be happy with a point from this if I'm honest. Um, is Laslett in the team? No, no, no Laslett today. It's a shame, but um, well, it's not in a way. But they've got plenty of other fantastic players to rip us to shreds. <laughs> so um, you know, we'll have to see how we get on. But I've got a feeling they could absolutely smash us today. As revenge. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice is a bit in and out. I'm not feeling too great and. Uh, my throat is absolutely killing me. But, um, no, oh, Gordon Bennett, I'll turn that down. It won't be loud, <clears throat> it won't be loud for you guys because I'll have already turned it down. But, uh, for me, that was unbelievably loud. Goal coming up for them, I think. Oh, we've got it for now. Well done, Moran, Wiley, go on, Wiley. Oh, Courtois have a good save. Mm. One thing I've noticed about this uh, formation, that we always take short corners now. We never just lump it into the area. I'm hoping that Day doesn't have one of his howlers today. Come on. Get the ball. Come on. No, 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 no. Well saved, day. It looked like it just hit him in the face, but well, well saved. And again, well done. I'm not happy that Newbold's picked up. Oh my God. I'm not happy that Newbold's picked up a knock. That does not bode well. But um, we'll assess him at half time. And if I feel he needs to come off, I'll bring him off. It's a, he's a very good young player, so I don't really want to. Well done. Go on. Oh, unlucky. You watch how hit us on the counter now. Oh, well done, Newbold. They're booing him for. It's a bit harsh. Oh, here we go. Oof. 
But yeah, that guy, that young lad from Red, uh, Reading, from Welling, he looks a like he could be something special in the future. I was gobsmacked when I was, I was just sort of looking around at young players and stuff and uh, I just happened to stumble across him, just really luckily stumbled across him. I think you'd be alright to be honest. For now, Mason's struggling a wee bit. Mason, oh he's picked up a knock as well, that's why. Oh. Sometimes they try and pass the ball ridiculously, like, uh-oh. And that stemmed. That stemmed from a poor pass. What's that? Well done, though. Oh, come on. Come on, Moses. Come on. Come on, Moses. Wiley, go! Lee Wiley, get in. Oh, here we go, they'll probably go and score straight away. But while I'm thinking about it, let's bring off Mason for you. And Hawkins, where do we go? Right, let's go you there, and then you swap with you. No, hang on. They're going to score here. Yeah. Oh, Hazard, it's the bar. Oh, go on, Moran. Van Bokel, go on. Oh, just needed a bit more height and pace on it. And it'd have been all right. I'll tell you, this season has been emotionally draining. That's for sure. We'll chuck old Ken Martin on. He needs to uh, pull that over here a bit. He needs to start kicking on. Uh oh. Oh. Well, <laughs> I had a bit of lag there. I wonder what had happened. Come on, get it out. Well done, Ivanovic. Well, they're playing a lot better Chelsea are than what they did last time we met. Oh, you're joking. Offside, thank you, I was going to say. That seemed a bit quick on the highlight there. Come on. Come on, hold on for that point. Oh, here, oof. Come on, get it out. Well done, Martin, well done. Oh, passing it too tightly at the moment at the back oh what are you doing well done martin go on what oh nearly come on get it get it get it get it get it get it well done martin well done that's it calm come on come on come on just go on wiley oh thought we might have got a last minute goal that would have been beautiful a point, very happy with that. Four points we've taken off Chelsea this season. Very pleased. Very pleased indeed. You can't argue with that at all. Fantastic result. Lifts us out of the bottom three as well. Level on points with Liverpool, but look at our goal difference. Minus 60, well not minus 60, sorry. But minus, um, in the minus big time, conceded the most in the league. So, haven't scored the least. Aston Villa have scored the least, I believe. Yep. But, you know, we've, uh, we've really um, pulled off a blinder against Chelsea, taking four points off them. You know, you can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. Six to eight days, six to nine days. When's our next match? Liverpool, seven days. Right, I'm going to holiday it and I'll see you in a memento. I'm not going to holiday it, I mean, I'm going to pause it. That's what I mean. <laughs> and then I'll see you in a moment. Okay, we're back. 
and we've got Liverpool at Anfield 15th versus 16th level on points who will be the stronger probably them to be fair but uh, we'll see we'll see um, Mr Moran has oh it's not showing up there but he said he wants to move to a bigger club now that's all very well and good but actually no Dave played rather well didn't he in all fairness against Chelsea um, it's all fair and well him saying he wants to play for a better club a bigger club but he's not scoring goals or anything you know he's just you know just there so until he starts scoring he can go swivel <laughs> to be honest he needs to do his part to help us stay up first before we even consider sending him anywhere but um, yeah I'm, I've got a feeling we we'll, may get turned over in this one today in my honest opinion but you never know you can do it because I always say the wrong thing Mind you, he hasn't got much of a response from him, has he? But here we go, Anfield. Well done, Day. Well done. It's a very short highlight. Oof. Jesus. By the looks of things, Wilson is a very good set piece taker. <laughs> well done, Wiley. Well done, go on Redman. Morat oh not enough on it. Some of our passes are really under hit. Well done. They're booing him for first it was um was it Mason? Or was it Newbold? Yeah, Newbold in the last game. Goal Wilson. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Gonna do something now that I don't normally do. We're going to break your ground. And uh, you, the you, and you with you. Here we go. See if that'll make any difference whatsoever. I doubt it. Uh oh. No, oh, it made a difference, it made us worse. <laughs> Damn. <sighs> Poor. Go on. If it is. Cool. Get in. 2 1. Well done, young man. Well done indeed. Been unlucky so far. Assertive. I know you're underdogs. Come on. Come on. We're a better team than this. Damn it. Don't think it's going to happen today. Martin. <sighs> Come on, please. Please. The trouble is, though, I've tried to buy better players, but they don't want to come. It's really difficult to get real good quality to come real difficult and that's it game over <sighs> oh well we knew it was going to be difficult this season practically impossible i'm still enjoying it even though we're struggling i'm still enjoying it it's been a fantastic season really enjoyed some of the football we've played um just you know need to build the squad over the years 
and sort of get them going in the right direction but anyway guys i'm going to leave it there uh thank you for watching sorry i've been a bit low-key today but um like i said i'm not feeling great but uh, please hit the like button um subscribe if you haven't already um follow me on twitter and i will see you all hopefully all of you in the next episode thank you guys bye bye